hello guys you're welcome to tally master class today we're going to have a short video on how to record transactions the steps that you need to go through to record transactions in tally so let's start we're going to go through 10 simple steps um, of actually recording your transactions what do you need to do and then move on to recording transactions okay so step number one you first of all have to create your company details so for students you will be given a practical question where the detail of a company will be given to you you should be able to create this detail of the company in your system as the first step okay all relevant information will be given to you now after you've been given the details and you've created the next thing you need to do is look out for your account info items where you have your groups your ledgers your call center your course category if there is any budget if there is currency you have to create all these items and they will be given to you in the question okay now the next thing you need to look out for is your inventory info this is where you create your stock category your stock group your unit of measure and then your stock items and your good on location if you save your stocks in a particular location this is where you create them all such information will be given or will be provided in the question for you so this is where you have to create all these information if you have been given payroll information as well you will have to create all the payroll items okay now let's move on to step number three uh, step number three is you are done with the basic information you've created a company you have created the relevant ledgers and inventory um, items now you are about to record your transaction you need to look out for your period the question gives you a, a period the financial year let's say it is um 2016 financial year when you are going to record your transaction you have to check the period in the system and make sure your period is in line with the question if not you cannot record any transaction in the system so you always watch out check your period you can just go to alt f2 to check your period if it's in line with the question sometimes the period will be different slightly different compared to what you actually created you get it based on the system you may be using so first of all check the period so you don't get frustrated during your exam okay all right let's move on to step number four we need to identify the double entry involving each transaction we learned these things uh the basic when we were either in level 100 or level 200 we learned this basic accounting principle you always have to know that there are accounts involved the double entry principle you need to know which accounts are involved okay for every transaction you need to know the account involved okay so after identifying the account involved we need to identify the account that we are debiting the account that we are crediting very important if you don't know the account you are debiting you are crediting you obviously end up making mistakes in the system remember tally is a software whatever you input in that's exactly what you're going to get out garbage in garbage out so let's get these things on our fingertips okay let's move on to step number six identify the voucher to use to record very simple there are a number of vouchers in tally every single transaction has a specific voucher you need to master these vouchers and know when to use these vouchers in our next video we will go through the types of vouchers accounting vouchers and inventory vouchers and then you would really understand okay so know the type of voucher to be used in our recording 
all right let's go to step number seven now you know you selected the right voucher the next thing is input your date to the transaction every transaction has a date so we just input the date and then our eighth um, step is for you to record the transaction now you are debiting something you are crediting something you just record and record the amount after that you give a narration very important without a narration to your transaction nobody would really understand what you've done so always remember to give a narration okay then we save we either press ctrl a to save or we just hit enter enter after our, our narration and then we save so guys it's that simple these are the 10 steps you have to follow when you are asked to create or post transactions in tally thank you guys for watching subscribe to our channel thank you